So one of the nice things about Cabbage is its widgets. So I just want to show you a quick example of how you set up widgets in general. So there's a few tutorials already on different types of widgets, but this tutorial is just going to be an overview of how the widgets communicate with C sound. So I'm going to go to edit mode, I'm going to right click and I'm going to put in a slider. Okay. Now every time we put a slider drag us drop a slider onto the window it's going to generate some template code for us up here so you can also write the code yourself but if you do it this way it's kind of handier okay now every widget that you declare in this or every widget that you drop into this window it's going to it has to have a channel with it a channel identifier associated with it that's for interactive widgets Layout widgets like group boxes and images, they don't need a channel. Just think if the widget, if you want to send information from the widget to CSound, it needs to have a channel identifier. So this one's channel is named our slider. So we can go to our code. I'm just going to take this out. I'm going to do k slider chan get our slider, and then I'm going to print k2 k slider. So, what's happening here now? First of all, in order for me to retrieve the value from this particular slider, I had to type chan-get or slider. Okay, so, and that has to match whatever's up there. So, if you've got our slider up here, you need to have our slider down here. Okay, you can change this to be whatever string you want, so long as you update this string, you will retrieve the values from this slider. So, as I move this, we're getting the values of the slider have been printed down in this window down here. So, this case slider is causing, is generating these values. So, that updates the rest on 0.62, which is this at 0.62. Okay. So you can add in, it's the same for any type of widget. If I create a button here, uh, 10xy, let's say 130 channel, and I'm going to call it button 1. So I can do the same thing. Let me clear the screen. I can say k okay, button, chan get button 1, print k2, k button and save. So watch the screen down here. Every time I change the button or hit the button, it's going to print a value here. So push. Huh. Okay, why is that not working? Button one. Channel is misspelled. Yikes. Okay, that's the benefit of dropping them in by right clicking on the screen. You won't make a mistake like that. Okay, so here we've got this going from 0 to 1. So again, important things to note here is this button has a channel associated with it. The channel is called button 1. That channel must be used in C sound, the channel name, with a chan get opcode. Therefore, this value here, k button, will be updated constantly with the value of the button. And when it is, it's going to be passed to print k2 which is going to print it down there. Okay, that's cool, a lot of scribbly lines. Okay, thanks.